Last time on Disaster House... At the moment, I'm pretty bored. Um, yeah, three days is a long time and we're on day two. I mean, but I haven't really won any of the uh, challenges yet, so I'm kind of hoping I can play this strategically. Quite glad it is um, the last day today because these are really good, but getting a bit sick of them. Um, it's the weather's packed in, so it's a lot colder now. Um, we do have a heater in here, but obviously we can't use it, so it's quite frustrating. I'm gonna go home. I think I'm gonna store some more water at home. I'm going to look at the type of food I store as well. I think I'm probably chucking a book. Because um, you get a bit sick of playing cards, so yeah, maybe maybe bring a book. I'm not used to not going out with no technology for so long. It's been different though. I feel like I'm having withdrawals from technology. Probably look at actually having a survival kit. Start slowly getting the things that I need to get to be able to survive. Even the little things like Alan's wet wipes, because that's a really good idea. My hygiene's been a bit different than what it normally is. Um, maybe the other two were right. Maybe I do stink. Alan sort of smells like lavender, which is nice. Favourite thing? Winning the power bank. That was really cool. First time I'd ever won something in a team activity. The weather today is pretty appalling. <laughs> um. And it's cold out there. I'm happy to be inside. The dinner last night was wasn't the great. I preferred the soup. Um, maybe I'll just have to stock up cans of soup. Maybe I can sell it later on. <laughs> survival soup. After being in the survival house for three days, um, I think it shows the importance of having emergency food and maybe emergency food that you don't mind eating. Uh, water as well is not something that I would have thought to <coughs> um, keep. Uh, having enough water to look after hygiene is a bit tricky. Um, just hygiene in general, I think uh, Alan had some wipes, which would be probably a really smart idea to have some spare. So we got uh, to another level of boredom and started writing a song for our time here. It's nearly done. I think we can probably record it now about the disaster, about getting through, about being prepared. <laughs> it's been a bit of fun. It gave us something to do, so that was good. So what, um, Come back to Disaster House to pick up the guys. Uh, they've been out here three days now. Uh, came out last night to uh, taste their Disaster House food. Um, it's pretty feral to be fair, but um, you know they they did well what they had. Kind of got the um, impression that they were starting to get a little bit stir crazy um, by the end of the second day. Um, there was sort of packs of cards strewn across the place and. Um, couple of them probably could have done with a shower quite desperately. Um, Reno in particular I think was was looking um, less than ideal um, but I think it's been a good experience for them really just sort of seeing you know the, the the side of disaster preparedness that you don't really think about which is things like where, where do you go to the toilet, um, what do you do to occupy yourself for three days. Um, I think water was an issue for them, um, they were given the standard ration of water, which was pretty much enough just for them to drink and um, brush their teeth. But um, <clears throat> when when old Reno said he fell into a pit of nasty water, he uh, he really needed to clean himself up and um, ended up going down the farm to find a stream somewhere. So 
I think he's definitely going to be having some extra water in his supplies for next time in case uh, in case that happens. So I'll go and get the guys um, and uh, and get them back to town, back home again, and um, and back to normal life. So um, just going home. Be really nice to have a proper shower and other bathroom requirements, and probably just sit down and just relax with my PS4 and have a catch up with everybody. Sort of like when you come home from a from a long holiday and you sit in your family in ages. That's what it feels like. So hopefully everyone's missed me. Otherwise that'll hurt. But it's been some really good times. We've sort of bonded, the three of us. And then Aiden actually turned out to be pretty cool. And Alan was able to smell nice for the whole thing, so it was good. So, they're really nice people. Just on our way home from surviving. Pretty happy to get back to technology and see all my friends and all that. It's been an interesting few days. Learned quite a lot about survival. The uh, other housemates were pretty cool. Got a little shaky there on day two and we got all bored, but uh, we got along quite well. So, yeah. Learned a lot. Learned a lot about surviving. Super survival. So, um, on our way home, woohoo! Got Raglan roast coffee, woohoo! <laughs> what are you up to? <laughs> um, really looking forward to a shower. Um, being able to brush my teeth under a normal. Uh, tap will be awesome um, and eating food that doesn't come from a can it will also be really good so yeah it's been a good three days I think we've survived pretty well um, we haven't killed each other yet got a little bit of cabin fever but that's to be expected um, but yeah all in all learnt, learnt a bit um, it was good to test out my my kit and see um, what else I needed to improve on um, yeah, pretty good. Cheers everybody.